All right, welcome to me beautiful work table. I got a reply the other day saying that uh, one of the tables on my workshop was dead. I apologize for the ones that don't work. It's out of my control. The tables that I create from scratch, tearing things apart, um, all of those will work. But sometimes when I am manipulate other people's maps and convert them to one world, they use external links. A uh, prime example of this is a guy named General Chaos. Uh, a couple years ago, we had an issue with his stuff because Tabletop Simulator issued an update wherein they wanted everything to become secure. So you had to have the HTTPS. Uh, all of his stuff was on a non-secure server, so all of those links kind of went dead, but they all got fixed over, you know, over time. Uh, but unfortunately, something's happened to this guy. I, I don't know who he is or, or where he's at or what happened if he stopped using Tabletop Simulator, didn't pay his his web page gimmick or his server or whatever he's got. But the problem is uh, he's disappeared. Could have had a heart attack, dropped off the face of the earth, been hit by a bus. Don't know. Never looked into it. But what I do know is that his website is down and anything that he had stored on his website, and he has a lot of models, no longer work. Uh, I think it's a big flaw with Tabletop Simulator. They should have sort of maybe forced everybody, I don't know what the solution is, into using the modding cloud manager and then never allowed a player to delete any of this stuff somehow. Um, I don't know if that is really fair or, or what, but it would sure make a lot of people's lives easier if the models always worked. But unfortunately, they don't. Things go link dead. So this video is going to show you how to fix link dead stuff. This only works if at one point in the past it has worked on your table. So if you've loaded a table, um, it will work because what happens is Tabletop Simulator um, uses this thing called mod caching. Under configuration, it's right here. It stores mod data on the disk to speed up mod loading. All this means is that anything that you download from other links will get saved on your hard drive. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if this is checked, you're loading things from your hard drive. As a game master, this is not how you do it. You want to uncheck this. What's going to happen is if you uncheck this and then you go to your table, you're going to see the errors. Where is my D&D 008? Do I not have it? Oh, well, maybe I maybe I don't have the link. Oh, there it is. So we're going to click on this. We're going to hit build. And you're going to see that a whole bunch of dead links are going to pop up because it's trying to load all of these things, as you can see, from generalchaos.com. It doesn't even have the S on it, but I know the S isn't going to fix it unless something's happened in the last week where this website is back up and running. But the, the permafix uh, for this map is going to be a little bit different. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna hit clear on this. That'll reset everything. If I go back to the menu, hit my configuration and I go to mod caching. If I turn mod caching on and then I load or build this map again, if it works and builds to completion, you have the file stored on your hard drive, just like this. So the now the gimmick is how do we get them from your hard drive? Because this is now working. You can see it said finished building. It's a completely um, finished built map but you need to get the links for these these models somehow and they're stored on your hard drive um, man it's been a while I don't make videos that much anymore but let's hit let's hit the clear button let's go to the menu configuration and turn off mod caching and then what we're gonna do something I've already done in the background is we are going to hit uh, the build button. I didn't do this in the background, but while this builds and gets screwed up again because mod caching is off. Let's take a look at this first file here as soon as it finishes. Okay, so under the model mesh, it says that it's looking for one by one cavern E2 dot OBJ. This one is three by three cavern PNG, and this one is three by one cavern n.png just looking at the file extensions on the end so if i scooch over to my right monitor never mind this stuff this is already done i'm going to go to my documents let me scooch back to my tts and go to 
um, menu configuration mod save location see how mine says documents if you mouse over it it'll tell you where it's at my documents tabletop simulator mods that's where it saves everything so we'll close this down shoot back over to the right monitor and I'm gonna go to documents my games and then here's tabletop simulator and here's mods so what I'm looking for or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here in the corner and I'm gonna hit star cavern star and then we're just gonna search my hard drive and see uh, what I can find come on sucker do a thing search oh what's happening here making me look bad there we go star cavern star a little bit of a, a little bit of a screw up there so what you want to do is you want to look through these files after it's you know does its gimmick and you're trying to find those file names um, here's three by three cavern these files here raw t files I wouldn't worry about but I would select things like this file um, this PNG here's another general chaos three by three uh, these things are raw T files. I would ignore those. This looks like it's something else, consoleclone.com, so I'm not worried about that. So you want to find the ones that say general chaos. Uh, here's another one, 3x1, another 3x1. So you're just trying to find cavern files. And then these little squigglies, your icon may be different, but you want to find the object files that say cavern. So here's cavern, 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 cavern. What I do is I select all of these things so I don't have to come back and search for them. This is a PNG file. There's that one, this one. There's another general chaos one. Some three by threes and some three by ones. Here's a cave entrance. I'm sure I'm gonna come across all of these. And then I just control shift collect all or connect all of these. And then I'm just going to take all of these different files that I find in here. I'm going to take them, control C, go to my downloads. I'm going to right click, make a new folder. I'm going to call this folder cavern. It doesn't really matter what it's called. Click in here, right click, control V. And it pastes all of these things. Okay, now that I've got this done, what I'm going to do is I am going to take this you don't have to do this part you just need to know that it's this one here I usually clean them up I'll delete all the stuff on the front but it's not a necessary step so don't really worry about it but what I've done is in my downloads I store all of my object files from things that I fixed already uh, in my folder here I've created this one today called cavern items and then you can see I've just torn off the first part again like you don't really need to do that once I've stored them all in the same spot I'm going to go back to my TTS table and I'm going to go to my modding and my cloud manager under my I've got a folder called models here's one called general chaos where I store all of his stuff and then here's the folder I created today called cavern so I've taken the folders you just hit over here upload local file uh, you can see that it's already set here I just select all of these by clicking at the top shift clicking at the bottom and I hit open and it uploaded all of these files so here is basically all of the files now from my hard drive i'm taking them and i'm storing them on tabletop simulators server now that they're on the server uh, i can close this down a little well i don't have to close that down i guess what i should do is leave it open cloud manager uh, you can just leave it here the search is fantastic on this thing so I need to find one by one cavern E2. And I'm pretty sure I've uploaded. So if I hit 1x1C, and then here's all the objects that I uploaded, all the different ones. So I need to find cavern E2, one by one cavern E2. I click on this. All you gotta do is click on it. It puts it in your, your uh, clipboard. Hit control A over here and control V. And the image is three by one so we're going to delete this three by one c which is just the beginning of cavern it's looking for everything okay so this one is three by one cavern dot png which is this file here click on this click on this control a control v 
Control A selects all, which deletes all the other stuff. Control V pastes over top of it. Bump maps are these blue things here. I don't know what they're used for, but you're going to click on this one and just make sure that it's the same. This should say cavern n.png. Click on this, click on cavern n, control V, and then you hit import. It found 11 matching ones. This is one of the nice parts that they, they've done uh, in one of the recent updates. They've, they've done this where it looks for the other ones and you just hit update. And boom, you can see on the map, it's thrown in a couple of pieces in the background. Let's do it one more time. So in here, we need three by one cavern. That's going to be this one. Usually the images are the same and the bump should be cavern N. It's already up here. Control A, Control V. We're looking for cavern entrance. So we're going to delete this cavern entrance. And we want Cavern Entrance 1. If you mouse over, it should be this one here. Cavern Entrance. What is this one? This is Cavern Entrance C. He's always got these little, this one, this is C1. Always a little gimmick at the end. So this is the one we want. So we click on this. Control A, Control V. And then lastly, the collider is Cavern Entrance C1 object. So that's this one here. So we're taking this one, control A, control V, and we're going to import. It's now found nine separate things. We're on to the next one, two by one cavern two. This stuff is like super lame, two by one C, two by one cavern two. We're going to click on this and we are going to drop it into the model mesh. And then the image, same thing. It's, it's just, we're right back three by one C. Oh, I'll give it a second to go through my stuff. Three by one C. So the image is going to be this one because like I say, it's almost always the same, right? It's just one image for everything. Click on this, control A, control V. And then this is going to be the bump map, which is the blue thing. Control, and then we hit import. Boom, found 189. Update. Look how much of the map we just got back. Oh, let me close this down and have a peek. Quite a bit of it came back. So back to the modding window, you just wash, rinse, and repeat. It's the same stuff over and over again. Here's the cloud manager. What do we need to find now? One by one by one. One X, one X, one. Come on, cloud. Where, you, where are you? One by one by one. Cavern. So it's going to be this one. Yeah, control A, control V. And then we're back to the same thing. The old ones here, three... 3i1xc. So this is going to be this map is going to go in the image, control V, and the bump map is going in here, control V, and then we hit import. There's 15 pieces there that we found. Uh, this one is 3 by 1 cavern 2. Oh, it's the same one. Okay. Oh, it's just up already. 3 by 1 cavern 2. So it's going to be this one, control A, control V, three by one cavern, this map again, the image is the overlay, and then this is the bump map, control V, import, ooh, 129, update, and you just keep doing the same thing, one by one cavern L2, one by one C, now we just got to find in here which one is L2, it's this one here, control A, control V, Click up here. We're going back to 3x1c. Boop, 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 doop. Here we go. Control A, Control V. 3 by one cavern, Control A, Control V. And boom, 141 of them suckers. Skaboosh. One by one cavern. Let's check this. So this is three by one cavern. So that's this map, this image. Uh, this bump map, and then this one is going to be one by one, cavern two, one X one C, one by one cavern, cavern two. So it's just this one. Click, control A, control V, import, found 15 of them things. Uh, like I said, it's just doing the same stupid things over and over again. One by one cavern. T2. 
Yeah, cavern T2. So it's going to be this object here. Control A, Control V. And then it's just going to be those, probably those same maps. 3X, 1C. So this map, Control A, Control V. And this bump map, go here. A, V, import. Found nine more. And that's it. We're done. Now th that's every piece has now been uploaded to the tabletop simulator community gimmick gimmick a jigger and uh now if your tabletop simulator or sorry your one world is screwed up you just hit the i because it you can see that it's not loaded right so you hit the i and then pop this out and hit pack so it's packed the zone packing is complete let's go back and hit build Boop 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 ba doop be doo do 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 come on sucker finish building okay menu configuration my mod caching is off which means that it loaded all of those pieces from the internet it said finished building so this map is like done and fixed so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to export this map and I am going to take this map, right click, and I'm going to save it to my map objects. None of this is really important. Save, overwrite, ending this video. That is how you do it. The same steps apply across the board. It can be a little bit more difficult when you have um, a lot of like unique models. Like I do, you do those steps, but I'm always going back to my... Um, Windows Explorer, I'm always trying to find the file and, you know, the, the different things associated with it. A little hint at the end of the video is I use um, Notepad++. Uh, you can find it on the internet. Let me see if I can, I'll just crack it up. Notepad++. Boom. Up it loads. I'm going to move it over here. I do not want to upload or the new one right now. Uh, let's go over to the right monitor, and you can, um, in my in my Savage Worlds Leviathan game, here is the chat GPT lyrics to the rap battle that we sung. Uh, I don't know what's under this. Oh, that's just some, so much we call it, and my time off. But I usually just post things to here. Let's go back to me table so you don't have to look at that freaking bright white thing. Notepad++. Plus plus. Uh, what you want to do with that is uh, when you build a table, and you get a link dead thing. Boop, 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 boop. Sha. Loading from the internet. All right, so on this piece here, custom, what I would do with Notepad++, wow, that's really making a reflection on my face. Boink. Uh, what you want to do is you want to take this, Control A, Control C, copy it, and paste it in the old... Um, notepad plus plus and once you paste it in there so if uh i should actually show you this because it, it could be notepad plus plus brightness uh we're gonna go to right monitor and we are gonna go file new control v here is the link uh, the reason I want to show you this, I don't know if I can zoom in or make it any larger, is because sometimes you'll get files like this that are stored on cloud that have gone link dead, but they'll still be stored on your on your hard drive. So you just need to come up here and take a section of this file, like say that much of it, hit Control C, and then bust out your Windows Explorer and go to your documents, go to My Games where your stuff is stored, wherever your stuff is stored, mods, and then up here, we're going to hit star, control V, star, and it's going to try and find this little chunk of text, and you can see as it searches, eventually they're going to pop up. There they are there. So now I've got the object. This would be the object right here. Like I said, saved on your hard drive. Same gimmick, same thing, rinse, wash, rinse, repeat. I think that's how she goes something like that but that will help you uh rebuild broken tables but again it only works if the table has at one point worked on your computer and you have it in your saved mods 
in your save file. Anyways, hopefully that helps. Uh, good luck with your with your making your maps, and uh, yeah, peace out.